2012 NFPA 70E, electrical safety in the workplace. In order for electrical workers to stay safe, they must recognize and avoid the two main hazards of electricity. The shock hazard of coming in contact with exposed live parts and the burn hazard which exists when exposed to an arc blast. In this new electrical safety program from ERI Safety Videos, electrical workers will learn how to protect themselves from these hazards by following the safe work practices contained in the 2012 NFPA 70E regulation. By featuring reenactments of electric shock, electrical arc blasts, and the ignition of flammable clothing, this dramatic program will convince electrical workers to follow the electrical safe work practices outlined in the 2012 NFPA 70E. In this program, viewers will learn the important changes contained in the 2012 NFPA 70E regulation, the definition of a qualified worker, how to create an electrically safe working condition, and why it is important to do so. When an energized work permit is required and what exceptions allow energized work to be performed and troubleshooting. How to determine the three approach boundaries for shock protection and why these boundaries must be enforced. The importance of the incident energy level and how this information determines the arc flash boundary. Why unprotected workers must not enter the arc flash boundary. How to determine a task's hazard risk category, as well as the PPE required. And how to select arc rated clothing appropriate for the task being performed. Don't train your workers with outdated information. Visit ERISafetyVideos.com and order your copy today.